Fred Film Radio. This is Manuela Santa Caterina for, uh, from the 81st Venice Film Festival. I'm in company of Wojtek Stracati, director of After Party, presented in Orizzonti Estra. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. So I read that um, this story came from a personal experience. I would like to know uh, if you need it, uh, if you need to, to, to make this movie also for um, uh, live again those emotions and maybe mm -hmm. get rid of them. Mm. I've uh, like the idea for the film started uh, among or amidst the the bad things happening to our family because yeah our family was in debts because of my father's uh, actions and uh, even though it was really sad and depressing and and really tough to go through it I was uh, always thinking that uh, if I want to be a filmmaker it's always easier and better to draw from my own life because uh, the closer the subject to you the more authentic or the most the more true uh, the film will turn out. But I've never wanted to uh, approach it as a like autobiography. Mm -hmm. So I wanted, uh, as I make fiction, it's always for me to uh, better to create a, a, like a unique fiction story. So I wanted to just take elements that happened in real life to me and uh, yeah, create this one, one day of my heroine. But all of these were made up but just, yeah, filled with details of my own life that I've been through that I knew well. And uh, because in, uh, in real life, things are so complicated that it would never translate well in, 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 in film. It would be too complicated for the viewers. So, so you have to make it, yeah, just make it differently. So yeah, so I, I, yeah, I wanted to, to make this film inspired by my life. I've never thought of it like as a therapeutic way or just going through it, like obviously, some of the uh, things I've been through are the ones that we were shooting, uh, but I, I was, I, I was mostly fine with it. I've, I've never like lived through it again during the filming, uh, filming process or, or, or. So. Why did you decide to concentrate the action on 24 hours? Because uh, this is a movie that also talks about the past mm -hmm. and the future. Yeah. Uh, also in real life, things usually happen very slow, like over days, weeks, months, years. And also in our case of our family, it was like years or, or decade. And, uh, but in cinema, I'm always uh, fascinated, by, fascinated by the now, by the real time element of film that you're capturing the moment. And I thought uh, even in real life, some days are more crucial to you. And uh, I thought it's, uh, it would be interesting to sort of condensate this uh, story that spans, let's say, uh, more years into one day that will be just very uh, decisive, if that's the word, uh, for, for uh, Jindrzyska, for the main uh, protagonist. And uh, yeah, so I thought uh, in terms of time, there are things that happen before the film start and uh, there are uh, things that will happen after it ends, but uh, I sort of, uh, thought that this specific day in her life is uh, like transformative, mm -hmm. that it's like sort of a threshold for her in terms of uh, becoming more, uh, yeah, becoming adult in a way. Yeah. That. And even if the world of the main character falls apart, you decide to uh, maintain a tone not so dramatic. Mm -hmm. And I also think about how you use the light because this is a movie full of light. Mm -hmm. I would like to know why you decide to um, use this duality. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to offer light and hope, especially uh, in the current state of the world. So that's what I'm, uh, even as a viewer, that's what I look in uh, when I'm watching films. I, I don't want to watch like things that are too nihilistic. I, I think there's a lot of it in the world, and I think cinema can uh, offer us so, at least spark of hope or, or spark of lightness. And uh, for me, it was always uh, a film that was that should have this summer vibe, you know, um, coming of age, buddy movie elements that were contrasted with the family drama because. I've seen many family dramas and, and they are usually heavy and depressing and so, and I didn't want the audience and, and myself included to be only depressed. So I thought, yeah, let's just uh, try to balance these two uh, en energies, yeah. Thank you so much, Wojciech Stracati and Manuela Santa Caterina for Fred the Festival Insider.
Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.